Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna show you 10 common mistakes beginners do when they rig their slackline the first time. My name is Benny Schmid, I'm a Gibbon athlete and right now I'm at the uni park in Stuttgart. I'm talking to many people on the slack chat from Gibbon and many people do the same mistakes in the beginning and I want to show you now how to avoid that. So the first common mistake is they choose the wrong spot. So very important is that the line is not too long in the beginning and also the line shouldn't be too high. I would say knee height is perfect and five meters long then you are uh, good to go and you can step safely from the line when you fall. And also it's way easier to get onto the line all the time. The second mistake is uh, people don't pay attention uh, on abrasion of the slack line. In our case even though it's a slackline park, there is still a case where abrasion uh, is very likely to happen and that's because of these red things here. So uh, in this case at the uni park we have these red things here and the surface is really rough. So if we are on the line and uh, we shake the line a little bit like that, this can happen, this movement. And then here it kind of there's a lot of abrasion on the line while slacklining. So in this case we should just put the line a bit higher or under to make sure we don't damage the webbing. So uh, today we don't use tree pro because we are in the slackline park and we have a post and uh, the post is quite nice so we can't damage the line. But if you rig with trees you must use tree pro because you uh, neither want to damage your line nor the tree and uh, especially the tree, the skin of the tree. The third mistake is uh, setting up the line in a way that the ratchet is too far in the middle. This is way too far away from the posts and later on when you slack line it's really annoying when the weight of the ratchet is in the middle of the line. So uh, to avoid that we have to sling our posts multiple times. Like depending on how thick the pole is you have to go around twice or three times. In our case it's actually even four times. Yeah. That's a fool. Uh, like that it's perfect because uh, the ratchet is very close to the pole and uh, it's not so annoying when it's there. Uh, now we come to the fourth mistake. Uh, you can see like that the ratchet is coming out sideways and the line is not going to be flat like we wanted. If we would rig the line like this, the, the line wouldn't be flat and for that we have to fold the line in half in here and then really fold it like all the way around in half so later on when there's tension on the line that it doesn't, um, uh, that the fold doesn't go away and then like this we are fine. Mistake number five is you start to crank the ratchet too early. It's when you start to crank the ratchet too early when the line is still very slack. So for that you have to put a lot of line through. It takes a long time and uh, the ratchet will become way too full. And if the ratchet is too full it's very likely that first of all this pin doesn't get locked properly anymore. And uh, second, it gets hard to tension. And uh, third, if it's too full, you won't even be able to finish your tensioning. Uh, for that, you need to make sure that you pre-tension the line before starting to crank the ratchet. Uh, this is how you pre-tension the line. Pull the other end of the slack line like that till it's like relatively tight, and then you start cranking the ratchet. Mistake number six, um, people don't pay attention that the line goes uh, straight into the ratchet. So you, you see here there's like a bit space here and here the line gets eaten up by the ratchet. So for that you need to uh, pay attention before you start cranking the line that the line is completely centered in the ratchet. So you adjust it a little bit and then completely straight. Then you start the line and like that 
there's like the same space on the right side and the left side on the line and we can close the ratchet. And there we are at the next mis common mistake. People forget to close the ratchet properly. So they just leave it like that. For that you have to pull this handle and close it all the way till it's uh, locked behind the pin. And yeah, the ratchet has two brakes. So there's like basically no way that the ratchet can open but uh, we really want to engage these two brakes properly. So that's why we really always have to remember to close this correctly. So we really um, avoid any chance of the ratchet to open. So, uh, mistake number eight is uh, quite an important one. It can happen very easily with ratchets is that um, when you crank, this pin locks only on one side and not on the other side. If you come closer, you can see it very well. So you might be looking at this side and this looks correct. The, the pin is behind uh, the teeth, but if you check the other side, it's not correct. This is completely uh, risky and the ratchet might open. Uh, so you have to always do click for click and make sure that this pin is behind the teeth correctly. So always when there's a little bit of tension on the line, make sure to control every single click Uh, mistake number nine would be uh, touching the ratchet uh, with your other hand while detensioning uh, the line. So when you pop the ratchet, just make sure all your body parts are far away and then you just pop it like that. Mistake number 10, make sure to check your ground before slacklining because um, especially when you're barefoot, you don't want to step onto anything like sharp or anything like a rock or something. Fall. Usually, you, usually you don't know when you fall, so uh, it can happen very easily to step into something and we don't want it to happen, so make sure uh, you have everything out of the way before you start slackline.